Hey, what's up, guys? We're well, back here, and today we're playing Raza pretty similar. Just because I love playing this deck. I actually made a couple modifications to the deck. Um, I've been noticing recently that the meta is super, super aggro. With the only slower decks really being Mechathun and um, a couple even lock players and a couple big priest players here and there. Like, very, very small. But or else basically everything else is an aggro deck, right? I've seen a lot of Murloc Shaman, a lot of aggro priests and things like that. Um, Pyre Warrior, Quest Hunter. So I'm thinking that if I go a faster, more controlly version of the deck, so I cut some of like the later game shit, um, obviously I keep the, the main cards. I was actually almost about to cut Psychic Scream. I, I just think that it's slightly too good against the couple bigger decks I see that comes down to closer to their turn. Um, that it would be pretty good. The one I, the one that I'm not sure if the cut was better than or not, was Mass Hysteria. Um, I'm not sure if Psychic Scream or Mass Hysteria is better. Actually, I want to say this is better because it's, this is actually playable against Pirate Warrior this way. Psychic Scream is a little bit slower, but I decided to add Devouring Plague because I think this card is pretty solid. Actually, just as a little bit more life gain uh, throughout the game. Breath of the Infinite and uh, Condemn. Because I think Condemn is still a very, very solid board wipe. So as you can see, the curve of the deck now is super, super fast. So this way, you only have, you have very few late game shit. It also means cutting Psychic Scream. A uh, Lore Keeper on four means you draw Reno on six. Um, right, because this would be your draw on five and this would be your draw on six. So it just raises the odds of drawing uh, Reno and the speed of drawing Reno. Just enough to a point where I think it's actually going to be playable against... Uh, quest hunter if we run into those or pirate warriors or whatever i'm i want to say this is possibly the best version of the deck out there but i have yet to try it out so i don't know for sure anyways with that being said let's keep the first game and let's hope everything goes swell all right guys with that being said i'll see y'all there what the fuck does mage is <laughs> i'm so used to seeing mage be like i right, combo now i guess it's probably some spell deck Big spell deck. Oh, it could be that, um, what is it called? Why can I not think of the name? The one where you eat the creatures and you summon two that cost the same. I'm gonna keep this. I think this is just fine. Uh, the reason you keep wave is, I just think wave is really, really solid most of the time. I don't know, it saves you for a turn, which could be enough. Oh my fucking God. Open the way gate without Sorcerer's Apprentice. I'm so curious to see how this goes. <laughs> I'm genuinely so curious to see how this goes. That's a fairly nice draw. Let's start with this. Uh, Renew is really nice because it can draw into more card draw. This is pretty solid as well. Uh, hmm. Fuck, I actually can't pick between these. These two are so good here. I think it has to be Renew. I mean... No, this is fine. The one card that I've actually been trying to fit is the, um... The second version, version of Shadow. Yeah, see, this is so good here. This kills both of those three. But yeah, is the other version of Shadow Visions. I just can't find a place for it in the deck. It's so weird. I'm so not used to not just not being able to find places for cards, but I don't know. That one just seems super hard to. This is also such a nuts draw. Yo, I miss Accolade of Pain being in every control deck. Accolade of Pain is one of my favorite cards to play. It's genuinely so good and so cool as a card. Also, the golden version of the card is fucking gorgeous. Okay, so unless you can deal three damage to it. Um, which I mean, he theoretically could. He could be playing uh, Arcane Missiles or whatever. But my guess is it's gonna. That was my guess is it's just gonna get one shot. So that's fine. Uh... Start with this. This is not bad. I do prefer this though. I'm debating slamming this plus this to try and draw a card here. 
don't think that's quite worth it. What if I had Diet Acolyte and that's it? I can play this just as I get another copy of it. I can do actually this plus this, or plus the wave. This way he can't kill it easily. I don't know how I feel about that though. No, I think I'm fine just taking the three here. Again, I'm super confused of how Waygate is gonna, like how he's actually gonna combo off with Waygate, so. Interesting. I'm seeing a whole bunch of new cards. Now I feel like this is slightly better here. Um, go with this for a five cost. Transform is fine. Draw two is what I want. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna slam the wave here. The reason I'm going for this play overall, he can kill one of my two guys, right? So depending on what he kills, I mean, I have the other one still alive. I don't care about either one dying because I get it back with this if he kills both it's a little bit more awkward because then i'm not guaranteed the acolyte but the thing is even then here i'm i'm happy with this i don't like doing that trade i would send them both here and then then this this i'll take this this is a really solid top deck because this is going back to base power here so i can coin this out here to kill this this i'm gonna wait for to draw raza raza is by far the best draw in my deck raza says i won the game i think from this position so this lord keeper lord keeper is does that really really well uh see this is the version of quest hunter i enjoy playing wipes and it tests for counter spell okay my guess is it's most likely a block um again block is not great right now because there's still a lot of pirate warrior er, that's a nine nine good thing i can poly it <laughs> um And all I want, all I want is Raza. Raza puts me so far ahead, I don't think I can lose. I mean, I assume he's playing some form of a combo deck, right? With Waygate. <laughs> like, I can't think of anything else that he would be playing that's not combo. This, this. Rat is fairly nice. Okay, next turn the place we're at. I would love to have Raza here, because then I could do Raza, Hero Power, Rat, Hero Power, Devouring, Hero Power. Which is really nice, but at the moment my hand is kind of like, nah, fuck you. Right now it's looking like I'm gonna have to do Hero Power, Rat, Hero Power, Zephyrus, Death, whatever I pull, or Kill Spell on whatever I pull. Repeat the last spell you cast across me. Interesting. Why is he killing that one? Interesting. Still no Anduin. Interesting. Start with this. Let's do this. Do this here. No. I'm one mana off doing what I want to do. Fuck. One, two, 
one, two, three. There's still one mana off me. Let's kill that. Yeah, there's no way I can actually kill that, sadly. This is just the way I get to closest to it. Not like this trade kills it off, right? So, I'm not too worried. Again, just need to find Raza and I win the game. I feel like I win the turn after Raza. But I can't even easily win through this. Am I dead? Okay, I thought I just died. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? But again, I don't know how the deck wins without Sorcerer's Apprentice. Maybe you could do like this. Into this. With a couple of these, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this. I don't even still get how that deck wins. Anyways, though, with that being said, let's just skip to the next one. Paladingo. Been. I was gonna say it feels like it's been forever, but like honestly, I have like this gap in my memory of Hearthstone where it's just like I remember. Yeah, sorry about that again. Um, so yeah, I have this gap in my memory where, <laughs> like, that's like right now, basically since the nerfs to now, like this tiny gap in my memory. Yo, this deck is blowing up in popularity. Pretty dope. I fuck with the deck, so I like it. We got. I don't like how the other person played it. Uh, when we played against someone I think yesterday or two days ago that was playing this without this and it said in Dragon Queen and I don't like that personally. I need to draw something that is playable. I was hoping to draw Anduin because he's about to give me 10 mana next turn. So if I draw Anduin I can just kill off his dragon and then I draw Raza and I win the game. In that order. Actually no wait it's turn after this. I don't want to go for this for a 10 cost, for a 5 cost. Uh, I just think I have 10 costs here. Because he gives me 10 mana next turn, I'm fine with that. Deal 8 to kill off the thing. I was really, really hoping for... I guess it has to be this. I was really hoping for draw 3. It was the single thing I was hoping the most for. Because drawing 3... Right, I gotta kill this. If I was able to kill this and draw three, it would have been beautiful. Right now, Anduin is the best top deck, so I don't have to play this because this is kind of shit here. So. Uh, oh. That's interesting. I'll develop both of those here. Jesus Christ. Well, I regret my decision of cutting Psychic Scream. Um, okay then. Hysteria is really good here. I'm looking for Hysteria. Beautiful. That's Hysteria wipes, right? Yeah, it does. Beautiful. No, oh fuck, it doesn't wipe. It leaves one thing alive. Hopefully it doesn't leave this alive. I'm able to kill whatever else is left alive. Uh, the one mini I said not to leave the fuck alive, it's what it left alive. I hate this fucking shitty game. Why could I predict that's exactly what would have survived? one thing I didn't want to have smoke. That is such a good burn for me. This is actually such a phenomenal burn for me. The best draw still would have been uh, Shadow Reaper Anduin. But this is super interesting, the fact that it's a pirate ver or a Murloc version of the deck. Mad respect. I wish there was a board wipe here. That's fine. I 
I can beat that. You know what would actually be a phenomenal draw for me right now? Uh, haze. Or, sorry, wave. I can wave, steal this, and play a spell. That is also fairly decent. Hmm. We can go this. Where's my 4 or 5 cost? I want to try and wipe. Do 4 damage everything. Transform into a sheep. Leave it cast deal 4 first. Fuck, it doesn't. I hate this game. I don't want to slam this into that, but... Fuck, man. That's so unlucky. If it would have, I was fine. And wave would still be very, very nice. Ah, right, yes, I got a 2 2. That's fine. You can survive one hit here. Only 10. 10 I could hit hit into Roz into Anduin. Oh my god, he's playing Dark Moon Rabbit in his deck. That's actually respect right there. That's mad fucking respect. Do, do, do. Okay, I wipe here. Very nice. I enjoy the fact that I can actually wipe here. Next one, I'm guaranteed to draw Reno, so I don't really have to worry about health anymore. And Ancient Void Hound. That's what his name is, right? Ancient Void Hound? Yeah. Could be fairly solid now because of my hero power. It could help me, like, make sure everything's at one health. So I could play it and I could, it acts like a board wipe. Also, I mean, Devouring Plague is still really, 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 really good in my opinion. Oh, what now? I see. Remember when I said I was fine? Yeah, I wasn't. Spoilers. Uh, I say that. If this was here, it'd be so much better. Oh my god. Okay there. Okay. I have nothing that can corrupt this in my deck, but very glad to know he has that. I need a good thing I'm gonna have masses there in hand. That's actually phenomenal for me. Um Okay. I have to continue dealing with trying to uh, I stole two cards that are kind of worthless, which really sucks, but what can you do? I think here is where I developed this. Yeah, I put developed this and I only steal one thing of health. I hate my life right now. That's fine. This is a really big I think I can win through that. Quite possibly. Dude, this thing has rush, huh? Okay. Interesting. Again, I was hoping for get more cheap cards, but I guess this has to do. Oh shoot, this doesn't trigger it, right? So if he has clouds, it's already complete. Because I think he played his two 10 drops. Hmm. 
This position's really hard. I think I have to burn the mass hysteria here, even though I really don't want to. I need to, like... At, okay, if he was at 18 health, right? I actually have to count him at... Two less health than whatever he's in now. So he's at 17, which means it bounces a six. I'm dealing 18. So that means three. If I could play three cards this turn, I win the game. Which I can do. Because of this, I can do it, right? Because I'll only take 12. Yeah, I think there's no problem with doing that. Yeah, because that's one... Thank god. Oh my god, that was such a close fucking game. Holy shit. His deck is so fucking cool. And you guys know my opinion on this card. I love the clowns. Carnival Clowns is such a dope card. I actually fire card. Mad respect to the guy for playing it. I actually mad fucking respect. I love that card. Uh, oh, that card is sick. <laughs> um anyways, uh, with that being said, let's let's skip the next one, alright guys? I'll see y'all there. Sorry about that. I don't know if you heard what he said, but I just got my bag caught in my drawer. I was wondering why it was not closing. Um, what are the odds that it's aggro? Do I keep one in case it's aggro? Yeah, I think you do. I think I keep one in case it's aggro. Well, I guess I... It is not aggro. I fucked up keeping these. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, by the way, I don't think I said it yet, but I hope you guys all have a beverage. A beverage? I can't even fucking speak anymore. I'm currently drinking myself a nice Dr. Pepper. You know my opinion, Dr. Pepper. It's, it's, it's pretty solid. It's... Oh, I don't really need this. I should have played it last turn. This is way too greedy. This means this can actually kill the 510 if he plays it. Or a body of Cthulhu. I generally don't think I'll be able to survive if he does anything else, so. Okay. Here's is fine. I'm gonna do this just to activate this. Unless I draw, like, palm readings. Yeah, no. This doesn't really come in handy. Reno's not the one I want to see. I was, if that was Raza or Lorekeeper, I won the game. I genuinely think I won the game if it was a lore keeper. Just because Anduin against his deck is really solid. Unfortunate. Yeah, you're here, unfortunate. If I pint size potion, it kills the Fargoth, doesn't kill the other guy. Mm. I want to kill this, and I want to kill this. I guess we just have to start tanking 10 to the dome. Unfortunate. I feel like I can let Vargoth survive a little bit less than I can let a 510 survive. The problem is that I think I just lose as soon as he develops uh, Cthulhu. So, or enough armor. As long as he's already at 13 armor. Like, I don't g think I have enough damage in my entire deck to kill him. It is a huge problem. Um, like, I need to find a way to have him not have anything on board, and then Cthulhu not kill me after playing two Cthulhu's. Like, he, right? It's, it's so weird. Okay, it's just Zephyrus here. I'm so mad because I will not be able to say on some. Did you give me death? You did not give me death. If you would have given me death, I was fine. I hate the fact that Zephyrus doesn't offer you the cheapest card. Because, like, their death would be super, super useful. Because then I could have, like... Again, I don't like how this card is made, if I'm being honest. 
Um, I think that this card, they took a lot of shortcuts while designing just to make it easier on them when they could have definitely made the card slightly better by not taking those shortcuts, right? Like your opponent having a big enough minion offers you death instead of Siphon Soul. Um, because for me, death there would have been so much better than Siphon, right? I would have had another Zephyrus here, which I couldn't get. I couldn't have because I got Seance, right? It was, it's a little fucked. Maybe the right play was Pine Size Potion into it, but I don't like that play whatsoever. I'm looking forward to doing this combo, or like this. But heck. Ideally, actually, would be he had like a four attack minion after he played a huge spreading plague. I would slowly die here, which is a little concerning. I don't know how to deal with this guy. Um. Okay, well, that's one option. For five costs. That's a good transform. Transform draw is fine. Again, it sucks as I now I can't seance this either, but that's the play I had to do. I mean, I might be able to. Maybe he doesn't have the second bog beam or a lunar eclipse, and I'll be able to get it off. If I do, I'm in a really, really good position. Or I guess Heart of Cthulhu is the other option, or Ma. So basically, no more Cthulhu parts in the top. It's like 14 cards of his deck. And no other piece of removal. I'm fine. Uh, it's a piece of removal. Oh, spell summon. That deck plays surpri a surprising amount of removal. I always forget quite how much removal it plays. And I hate the fact that I can't run a Lucia to counter decks like this. Honestly, that's the worst part. I don't understand why you can't. Like, why did they have to change a Lucia? Is it because a whole bunch of shitters in bronze were complaining? No offense if you're a person who plays in bronze, but... You know, it's so tilting because... Being someone that understood, like, that card, I guess, more in depth and loved playing with that card for the card it is. It hurts the fact that I can no longer run one of the best control cards in the game because people are complaining about it being too broken. I should have possibly waited for that, but I don't think he's able to deal nine. Okay, I have another set for Eric Kazakis now, which is really, really nice. The fact that I have not hit Raza or Anduin here is really shit because I can't even start poking him down. But that was my whole hope with getting Anduin would be just to start like dealing like here. Right? I could have just done hero power. I burn a card here. I burn two cards here. Fuck me. I'm gonna burn a combo piece and I'm gonna concede on the spot and complain about it profusely. Because that's actually half of what I do. <laughs> All right. I misplayed, I deserve this. Burn my Edwin or my Raza. Oh my god. Not punished, question mark? That is so rare not to get punished in a scenario like this. This is going for a 10 cost, so I'm seancing it. There we go. I was really hoping for... I still have... Yeah, okay. I was really, really hoping for... Summon 88 Res 3. This way I can start doing chip damage. And like, that's kind of the way I'm gonna win from here. It's gonna be just having a big board full of shit that I res and getting in chip damage, if I'm being honest. Like, I don't think I could win without getting, without going through that route. Um, again, there's three good draws in my deck and that's it. There's these three cards that are the only good draws in my entire deck. Jesus Christ, this man's hand is only removal. I think I just actually slammed this here. I slammed this, I forced a second Poison Seeds. He's played three Fungal Fortunes this game. How the fuck do I win this? Like, I genuinely don't know how to win from this position. It's not the card I wanted to see. So let's just do this. I really hit... Fuck. And I hate this game sometimes. At least I'm putting another Reno in my death pool so I can possibly hit it with Raise Dead. As long as I'm burning another card here, which, again, getting more and more likely to be Raza or Anduin. 
I don't think I can deal 60 damage by the time he completes Cthulhu is the problem. Is another problem that I see here. The only way I can get around that theoretically is Dirty Rat. Dirty Rat is a hell of a card. It's like right now he got this so late that it's gonna be a little bit harder for him to do everything he would want to do. Okay, just don't burn Raza. Don't burn Raza, don't burn Spawn. Anything else in my deck is fine. Actually, any other card in my deck would be fine to burn. Okay, never mind. He... The cards he RNG'd were, like, actually insane for him. A little tilting. No cap. It's not Raza. Or Spawn. Perfect. I want to keep all these for when I eventually draw... Uh, Raza. Problem is he was able to gain so much mana here. I was not expecting the double bio project. I was expecting one, in which case he would not have enough mana to finish off Cthune, draw Cthune, so on and so forth. Uh, he's put. Oh, he's only played one Moonlight Guidance. Because I was hoping I was gonna be able to pull. I'm gonna be still be able to pull one, one of them out of his hand. Go for a five cost here. Seven armor is really good. Seven two is really good. Why did I have to? S I lose. I actually lost because I hit this. I hate this game because he's gonna fit he's gonna ma this. He's going to, right, Ma's going to add it. He's in Moonlight Guidance. He's going to play Cthulhu. I'm going to draw three cards. I'm going to take a million damage. And I just won't be able to win from this position. I'm going to, sure, I'm going to Dirty Rat the other one out of his hand, but I'm going to have drawn too many cards. I'm going to have to, ex RNG exactly Reno in order to win. If I RNG exactly Reno, I'm fine. Or else I lose the game. The rest of his deck is Spreading Plagues. Another branching pass, a ferocious howl, a solar eclipse, and a moonlight guidance. He's not. Interesting. The man's a psychopath. Is such an important draw here. Really? No, no Reno. You're gonna do me like this game. Expecting the next plague here. We plague. Probably trade trade into Raza into plague. Or it's gonna be mying Raza. Can he yeah, okay, that's the play he's going for. It's gonna be Ma into Moonlit, into Solar Eclipse, Moonlit. Yeah, Solar Eclipse, Moonlit, Cthune. To draw the Cthune. Oh, what's he even. Play your Cthune. You. How are you creating all these additional copies of cards? I can't beat two Cthunes. I don't have a second Dirty Rat. If I had a second Dirty Rat, I was fine. But I don't. I don't genuinely know how he RNG'd another Moonlit Guidance. He RNG'd it off Nature Studies. Bro, this man's draw was actually too cracked. I don't know what the fuck to do here. I missed two damage, whoops. Oh fuck, I should be killing it with this.
Yeah, it doesn't matter though. It sucks that he had the second Moonlit Guidance. Because he had the second Moonlit Guidance, I got fucked. That's so tilting. Or sorry, the third one. <laughs> like, he won because he hit Moonlit Guidance, Bio Project, and Fungal Fortune. Or else he drew way too slowly in order to kill me. He didn't have enough mana to kill me fast enough. And he would have only had one additional Cthulhu, which we beat. We may, maybe not have beat it, but we got pretty darn close. Yeah, the rest of his hand was another Ferocious Howl, uh, Spreading Plague, and then Ferocious Howl, Spreading Plague, Paths, and something I could remember. I'm pretty sure I said them all. That's so tilting. To be fair, again. That is one of the worst matchups for Rasa Priest. Those heavy control decks that can gain a shitload of armor. Same thing how... What is it called? Um, uh, old Odd Warrior was such a bad matchup. Because they would have so much health that it would be impossible for you to actually like whittle them down. You know what I'm saying? So it was super, super rough. But hey. You know what? You can't, you can't win them all. I, I mean, we did fairly well today, so I'm perfectly fine. We did better than we did most days, at least in the past. I hate the fact that there's still this bug where you get double dust from packs that you can't disenchant. Like how? Blizzard, you're a multi-billion dollar company. How the fuck does this not work yet? Anyways, though, it worked for like a week and then they broke it again. <laughs> Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, follow me on Twitch and Twitter as always. Um, yeah, rep the gang and I'll see y'all in the next one. All right, guys, peace.